Yo, what do you do? This is Roger Speaks. Right now, I'm watching more so um, Naruto the Next Generation's episode four, titled Ninja. And right now, you know, we just seen kind of Hammer Room just in, hit a summer juicer for all the kids to watch in amazement. You know, he just summoned one of the great sage toads. And they're like, awesome. So this is really dope seeing this real quick. He said, and uh, she knows just leave it to him to perform a magnificent summon juice. That's what Shino said. Okay, there you go. And I gotta say, the reason he's become the grandson of the great third old guy, okay? The genius ninja who was the pride of the hidden leaf. I will say this though, man. I really wish Shino wasn't downgraded to being a teacher. And if I was like, I'll go anywhere for you, Mr. Kanahamaru. That's always thank you, Kamamoro. Kamamoro. Wait, Gam go moral. Yeah. This is a good opportunity to ask questions. Line up. <laughs> okay, so now it looks like the kids are learning how to do something juice now, which is, I think is going to be pretty dope. I wonder what uh, Boruto's uh, summoning is going to be. Mm, yeah. Boruto's like, don't let it go. Don't let that fiber go to your head, you big bro. Big bro kind of armor. You know, all the girls turning back like, why are you hating? Like, <laughs> don't make fun of grown-ups. Also, don't call me Big Bro. Over here, call me Sensei. Oh, that's funny. I can definitely tell Boruto's a lot like Naruto as far as his size. You know, I was like, hey, don't be rude to Sensei. <laughs> yeah, you're becoming too kind of casual with him. Y'all got this wrong. I'm so embarrassing with men having an inferiority complex. That's what Chocho was saying. Like I said, you got this all wrong. <laughs> anyway, he put his hands in as the sun does and looks. Blame me for being jealous. What's up with him like that? Oh, wait, he's about to use some kind of. Oh, man, this is crazy. Bold, don't do anything stupid. So, Boruto rushes. Come on, when he takes uh, something through. This is actually really funny because, you know. If you all remember the first episode, Naruto actually stole one of the biggest summoning swords. And so Boruto was like, summoning! You know, nothing summons. This is teachable not unless you first sign your name into the scroll and enter into a contract with an animal. So I was like, ah. So you're in a sheet and a little taller. And she's just like, you're an idiot. <laughs> okay, so that's, so it's good to know that, so it's good to know that Sarah you know, I'm sorry, it's good to know that Boruto is a lot like Naruto, you know, as far as quirkiness goes in so, different, so many different ways. I can't wait to see the guy's development, and you know, like, it's going to be pretty cool. I said the intros are always pretty well, you know. I like how they how the intro, like the entrance music and introductions, always change up. You know, it goes to show like how how well the characters are progressing. At least that's what, that's my interpretation of it. Okay, but yeah, I just changed the quality up a little bit because my uh, laptop kept like you know buffering and stuff like that. I got annoyed by it, so I reduced the quality a little bit. So I wonder, like, I wonder who, you know, of course, like everybody else, I'm sort of wondering who Kawaki is. He might just be a brand new villain, possibly created by a Ruchimaru or a descendant of um, the Uchisuki, the Uchisuki clan. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> You know, I mean, you know, again, I like series like this, you know, that kind of branch off of the, the originator, you know. I think this has the, the ability to really be something great. Man, these intros are the longest ever. 
We're good enough to last. A ninjutsu battle of the sexes. And you can't use some ninjutsu. Okay, yeah, like I said, guys, this is the. Like I said, this is Boruto, Naruto, Next Generations, Season 1, Episode 4, A Ninjutsu Battle of the Sexes. And um, Shino's like making sure, okay, do you understand how to make a summon ninjutsu? Uh, you have to make a sign of contact with an animal, you know, and things of that nature. The hard part is making the summon an animal listen to you. That's the hardest part of making the summon ninjutsu, is what he's telling uh, Boros and everybody else. There's an acceptance on both sides, an animal can be a valuable partner. Too soon for you to try something good at me. So we'll start off with some ninja tools. Okay, so that's nice basic stuff. You know, honestly, uh, Roto, he feels like he, can, he should be learning more and more and more, you know, not just going by the book, you know, some ninja tools. You know, he just wants to go straight to the animals, but you can't do that. You know, you can't rush um, things like this nature, you know. It's a lot like martial arts, you know, you can't rush it. You know, you, it takes time and practice, you know, muscle memory. And then check it out, it's like, I think my mom used to summon a weasel. Girl's like, I wouldn't mind telling me a dog, a cat would be nice. You know, things of those nature. Hey guys, some animal isn't a pet. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It can be ugly as long as it's strong. That's what Enojin is saying about <laughs> a snake. It's cool and it seems strong. And then, Dinky's like, I want a scorpion. No, but I have to go with the gorilla for power. If you want to creep them out with appearances, how about a spider? That's what Shikadai sent me. Damn it, bugs and snakes. These are just so childish. Yeah, Chocho, just shut up and stop your face. It's no use summoning gamble for me that seems weak. We're in an age where looking cool counts. And she's right, you should talk when you're farthest from being cool. Oh, shit, I may be chubby, but my moves are arrow. Excellent. And so she you know, stops him from, from arguing. He said, Alright, get started on some of these tools. Let's all summon a giant animal together. That's a Boruto suggestion. Let's all summon a huge animal together. And, and then Shikadai's like, Don't do anything stupid. On it. Whatever you just see, you jumped in, lumped in with you. You, you never do anything stupid, you know. You sure do. You cause trouble every <laughs> time. Damn it. So, you know, Sig Sakurai does it might be grouped into Boruto's uh, mess because every single time he does something wrong, it makes everyone else look bad, you know. When one gets in trouble, all gets in trouble, you know. That's pretty much what my mom told us when we were younger. Oh, man, here we go. No wonder they say it's a ninjutsu battle of the sexes. Male versus female. Well, I think you girls aren't innocent either. You're always gossiping and wasting your time on silly things, wasting your life on silly things. Our girls talk is completely different from the vulgar things. You boys talk about it. If we say one thing, you, you say another. Women are really such a drag. Anyway, don't do anything childish. We are, how are we childish? There you go, getting all riled up. That's childish. What? That's enough. Okay, so now, Kanahamaru, you know, settles things down, you know, tells them to be quiet and things like that. But I can honestly tell there's going to be a battle of the sexes as the title of the episode in, says, amongst the two of them. In this area, we have so many who are eager to become ninja. Everyone has so much energy, almost too much energy. From what I hear, your generation was especially full of rivalry and competition. Sassy, Mr. Sakura, Mr. Shikamaru, and Lord Seventh. You all let your mark for prosperity. Not wanting to lose. That determination makes one mature. I see. Okay, so I think Kanahamaru pretty much gave a. Shino must have gave Shino an idea, you know. He was saying, like, listen, never wanting to give up. That determination, you know, paved the way for these kids, you know causes maturity so maybe Shino's gonna try to do something where it makes the class you know become you know start their <laughs> training world in terms of being mature Oh man, 
this side or it has a mouth for this like so. <laughs> you know it's just that uh, side of it saying you always smell like the yeah side of blood and I'm like oh man the, y the yaka side line is my favorite I can't get a sink unless I eat one it always causing trouble so maybe it's better if you're not in sync but ever since I heard that bun is really good I've been dying to try it Honestly, why did you sell out so quickly today? All right, there's usually more left. A chubby customer bought a lot earlier. Which is chill chill. You know, just like talk about bad food and fuel economy. Man, I gotta say that you know Jim, you know Jim really has that mouth. Okay, so now there's a battle between Boris and Sarah happening. He's like, no, this is your role, and here's, let's have him out, it'll, it'll clear the air. Right, Boruto? <laughs> okay, so now Ikan Wabi, Wabi is pretty much instigating this whole thing, which I think he has a point. You know, it will clear the air, it'll end all this stuff. So Shino stops it. Fighting amongst the Chinese students is taboo. However, not one that loses more, but helps Shinobi mature. After class, I prefer a battleground for you. It's everybody shot. Fight with all your passion and sell this once and for all. There you go, Shino. Although I can't really, I can't really picture the English dub, you know, being that eccentric about it. <laughs> You know, just because of Shino's character. Let's run rule. It'll start here. And the first one to grab the flag on the rooftop of the main building wins. Losers will listen to the winners. Got that? You know, so now Shino has set up a little test course for the students. So now they're off. Just leave it to me. There you go, Wabi. And you, 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 what's the problem? Lately, it's true nature to them. It's coming through. Making good progress. Okay, so Chocho just knocked Wabi the heck out with that one straight. Chocho on Akamichi. She's hard to motivate, but she definitely has ability. Well, it will be interesting to see what happens. So, I, just like I said in the beginning, you know, this is this will really see how the, the characters, you know, grow. That's how we usually pass on to him. So, you know, he's asking me how can he stay it? <laughs> so, pretty much... Shino's questioning whether or not Shikadai can um, sustain his his uh, determination, his skill, and his mastery of the shadow manipulation jutsus. Make you feel as much intense as possible. This time we will be working in three man teams. The training will come in handy. Man, they always. Man, they leave Shino leave him like dust. Like we're the only ones left in the boys' team. So, Metal Lee's able to catch all the all the ninja stars. He always accurately uses his all. So, basically, Metal Lee's, he, Metal Lee's like, right here. Are you okay? Uh, of course. And mental ability. That's 
stop that class and shoot it again, you see. Just after you cheat out blood. I will say this though, man. It kind of sucks to see Metal Lee, a guy who's the descendant of Rock Lee, you know, have not don't have not have that fortitude of a mental ability, you know, to have that confidence and not be shot. But it, it, I'm sure he'll grow out of it as the series progresses. But then again, you can tell he's been trained by Tintin because of his uh, knowledge of, the, of uh, ninja tools. And so I think he's able to hack into one of the buildings. I think they have a genius on their side, you know what I mean? Like a nerd on their side. You know, you know mind intended. I gotta say, though, Dinky's crest on his shirt reminds me of the Uchiha. Okay, so you decide around one of her classmates, well, a few of her classmates trying to get to the flag. You know what I'm saying? He's checking out saying he has a plan. You know, I think he just executed one of his plans. Ninja Army Super Beast Girl. So Imogen is something uh, Ninja Army Super Beast Girl. So you can hurt an opponent without dirty in your hands, can't you? Don't say it in such a way so we can take it the wrong way. It'll be alright. So now, you know, they're pretty much, the guys are pretty much hacking the school system so then they can win. I still can't get it to work like my dad's. You know, because um, size uh, Ninja Beast girls can sustain under any element it looks like. And Emojin is still learning, so hopefully it will master that um, in due time. Let me see to anybody. Let's just try this. So more so Dinky has to be left behind, you know, he's captured by the girls. Oh man, this sucks. So no one stopped. So what do we do? So the hiding in the closet looks like an inch tool closet. Okay, so Shigeru and Imogen are going to be decoys while Boruto gets the flag from the roof. Okay, so Boruto plans to use um, so some sunny juice within the prep room to uh, fend off the girls while he's up at the roof. It's a board, so some the shadow wounds. So just like so their strategy is working so far. So they want to blow up the gate so then everybody can get to the roof in time to stop board. So and that's what they just did. <laughs> so Chocho is trying to get to the flag. I'm not gonna let you. So he, you know he's doing a summoning jutsu. Oh snap! Is he doing it? Oh snap! He's really summoning. 
the snake. So Boris was diving to save Shoto because she got knocked out of the building because the snake attacked her and he grabs her. So what's up that dark cloud chakra, I wonder? I think does it feed off? I'm wondering, does it feed off of uh, negative thoughts and energy, like negative thoughts and energy from the person? So it kind of Amaru comes in with that rising guy and stops the snake. I will say, it's like these kids bring up, uh, make up their own misadventures, you know, kind of just like part one, except, you know, part one is done way differently of course you know through hard work and determination these kids are making either making up their own hard ways i guess to to uh enhance their maturity which is actually pretty cool when you think about it but the girls get the flag and now the boys have to listen to them So, Boris apologizes to Chojo, I'll put you in danger. In the rule that says something more is regretted. So, it's okay, but you have no complaints that we wouldn't do you. He said, Yeah, we'll listen to whatever you say. Well, we have no choice, though it's a drag. <laughs> and so, I'm sensing you giving me a rain check. So you guys aren't to my standards yet, but I'll give you props this one time. <laughs> you guys were really strong. Our class is pretty high level, huh? <laughs> we're always right. In time, you'll be able to become you guys. You can shoot <laughs> y'all can shabby buns, y'all can sabu sabu buns. They taste good by themselves, but when you combine them into a y'all can sabu bun, it tastes even better. That's a nice little analogy, bro. If you join forces, you can battle even the greatest, the strongest opponent. But why didn't you just say it from the start? It was hard to understand. She was saying that you tried to sound wise, but totally messed up. And so they laugh. And here comes the sulk. Jojo is starving. First, you need to clean up. Oh, wow. The whole dang school just collapsed. She knows in shock. That's why I've not outside for quite a while. <laughs> Unless I lost her earlier. How can Barnes produce that thing with the amount of chakra that he has? Michi. Okay, so we so as the episode just ended, we saw a guy standing. It looks like a guinea or on um, boards was age standing at the top. As Bo, as Kamehameha would pretty much just say, "Well, how did Boros summon that huge snake with the amount of he has?" You know, he was pondering that. So I think it's probably Mitsuki probably helped out with that. Or I think maybe the dark energy that's within Mitsuki is somehow um, acting out on its own somehow. Or something. That's my little theory. But let me know what you guys think in the comments of below. Super Chase Peace. you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. All that other jazz, man. I love you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe as well and put the word out about my channel. God bless.